so this is a video for uh, my neuroengineering students who are not engineers. Um, but obviously, everybody can watch this if you're confused about homework 3B, which is e downloading EEG data and plotting reasonable um, traces. So this is the Dunders repo repository, which is um, data from a paper that I submitted um, as homework 3. And if you go here, there are many, uh, many data sets. I'm going to show you the 44, 340, but all of them are similar. And the problem is that the raw data is 360 megabytes. The dot mat is 600 megabytes. So I'm going to download the ERP, the event related potentials. And I'm just going to save this for now. So realize already this is like 10 megabytes. So what am I expecting you to do is to go to uh, the website matlab.mathworks.com and make an account and you don't need to download it at all. You can um, just open the online version of MATLAB. And that's what I'm doing here. Somehow it's taking a long time. and. I'll show you two small things and then show you how to upload uh, the ERP.mat to here and then how to save people who don't want to use MATLAB. You still have to sort of come here, upload those files, and then save as a CSV, for example. Oh, let me clear all first. Oh, I'd like to delete these files possibly. Um, I do not know. Delete. And then here also, possibly I'm gonna delete this guy. So right click, I'm trying to right click, delete. And now I'm gonna give you an example, A equals one to 10. And then I'm gonna plot A and there should be a figure showing up. So here's here's my figure one and it's plotting as a, as a line, but really I wanted to plot as 10, 10 asterisk, asterisks, a red asterisks. So now you see those 10 points being plotted, one to 10. And let's say instead of that, I want to make a or B is two every three dots, every three points until whatever. 25. Now you see my B is only eight points and I'm going to plot on top of those. I'm going to hold the current plot and I'm going to plot B as black pluses. And oh, I guess blue pluses. Let me see if I know how to plot. Black is probably K. Let's take a look. Yeah. So now you see my B plotting on top of A. This is the basics of what we're going to do for um, for homework three, um, except instead of uh, stars and pluses, you're going to see EG data. So if I want to clear this, I, I can type clear figure, still up. But now I want to upload the, the file that I downloaded to my computer. So I can go here on upload. And here I downloaded several times. So an hour ago I started doing this and I uh, downloaded the ERP.mat. So now I'm gonna say open. And what's happening is that my you know um, local file is going to my um, cloud MATLAB drive. And now you see that it says here ERP.mat. And down here in my workspace, there's A and B. And if I take a look at ERP, whoops, really? I thought I could, oh, maybe I'd have to open ERP.mat. So now from my drive, it's coming here and it's ERP is a one by one structure. So if I try to take a look at ERP, it shows me it's a structure with these fields. So, and these are several fields, average, I think it's variables, time, 
DOF, which is not clear to me what it is, a label. So I could say ERP the label, and it's going to show me a hundred and fifty-eight of these labels for the electrodes. But back to the ERP, I'm going to extract time and the average. So I'm going to say time ERP is going to be the ERP dot time. And I don't want to see all the numbers, so I put the semicolon at the end there. So you see there on the left side, there is a new variable. And this new variable is 1 times 4,000 double. So it's, uh, it's just numbers. The structure is a sequence of numbers and uh, tables and cell arrays in this case. And now the second thing I'm going to extract from this uh, structure is the average. Average ERP will be ERP.average. And now again, here there should be uh, average ERP. Actually, I should have called this the other, some other number by name. Okay, and now I will show you how to plot one in the homework assignments for you to plot several of these. Now I want to plot, for example, number 99 of my average. Average RP 99 and all those 4,000 um, rows. So it's column 99 versus all 4,000 rows. So this is how it looks like. It's actually only three seconds. This is really small. I wanted it to make it bigger. So what happens is at zero, um, there was, this is the zero for the event. So at zero, they showed something to the user. And this is the, I think we're supposed to make the average of several of these. Well, now I'm gonna show you, for example, if I wanted to show the ERPs from one to 10, the channels one to 10, they would show up all together. And here already you see a little bit better, like that there may be a pattern. That looks cooler. And I'll just plot one, two, not one plot, look at it zero to one seconds. Yeah, even though, I don't, let's see. Um, I would, Possibly select this. Oh no. Um, okay. Anyway, from here on, you can save the figure. I suggest you go on help and find out how to save variables or uh, for the homework assignment. You just need to show me that you did get to this point. And from here on, you're going to have to do filter filtering on some of these. I hope this helps get you guys going.